All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys might know, last night we got a data download on Global for the uh, part EX or extra part of the seventh anniversary. But at the time we didn't have access to all the assets because uh, Proton hadn't posted them yet. And then by the time he did post them a few hours later, I was already asleep. So anyways, uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, everything that we got from this data download, but of course before we jump into it I got to give a big shout out to my boy proton 10 mg on Twitter for posting all these assets as always if you guys aren't already following him Then definitely go ahead and do so and with that said Let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the assets for the upcoming Dokkan festival exclusive is Raditz so we have his SSR art on the left here and then his TUR and uh, I will quickly make a pass or pull video a little bit later in the day. He's dropping tomorrow um, If you guys have been on Twitter at all, then you will see some uh, I would say mixed opinions about this unit, but for the most part, they're all white negative um, Not a lot of people are big fans of this guy and uh, we'll break down exactly why that is in the upcoming video. But yeah, Raditz is coming along with his side unit, which is this STR Nappa. And this dude is actually very, very impressive for a non dokkan Fest side unit. Arguably more impressive than his Dokkan Festival exclusive counterparts on the same banner. So uh, yeah, we'll talk about both of them a little bit later. And then from there, we have the Dokkan event uh, for the Fizz Raditz. There, there is his Dokkan Awakening Medal, of course, as well. And uh, from there, we have the Global First. I'm not going to say Global Exclusive, because obviously, JP is eventually going to be getting it. But Global First, Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, or Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. Extreme Z Battle Event and Extreme Z Awakening, which is now available in the game. We will be streaming this uh, in a few hours once I get some free time. But uh, for now, Global first. And uh, I feel like people kind of overreacted a little bit to the initial details. Like to me, they looked really good, but a lot of people were like, yo, he sucks or he's mid, blah, blah, blah. And I'm starting to see the opinion shift a little bit like more people now are saying he's not the best EZA we've seen that's for sure and I never said that right I never said he was the best but I did think he was very good and a lot of people are kind of coming around to the fact that he's quite good he's not meta changing by any means he's not you know like once again the, the best EZA we've ever had but he's quite good and I stand by that so we have the yeah full power Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z Battle Extreme Z Awakening along with uh, some more assets for the same event, which I'll show you guys real quick. And uh, then we also have his Extreme Z Battle, or sorry, uh, Extreme Z Awakening Medals. And also the expected Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening from the JP side, which is the uh, Destined Rival Saga 5 for the 4th Anniversary LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So of course these guys are also getting Extreme Z Awakenings or already have their Extreme Z Awakenings on Global and uh, this event is also available right now and I think in the stream later today we'll do both of these Extreme Z battles at once because you know might as well right and uh, then I'll showcase all three of them on one team uh, probably this afternoon and after that we have a new Super Battle Road stage which is dropping with the Raditz and Nappa and that is uh, power Absorption Stage 60. And we also have a new support memory, which is this one right here, Goku Gets Married. Um, we have some Dokkan Festival tickets for the Raditz banner, of course, which are available for purchase in the ticket shop, in the pack shop. And we also have this Extreme Z Dokkan Festival ticket, which is for the... Um, well, I guess there's two Extreme Z banners right now, or maybe not. I guess they don't have one for the Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. I'm not sure about that one. This should be actually for the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I'm not sure if 
for getting something else for the LRs presenting force. Either way, two new tickets, and then now uh, we have some missions which are standard, right, for the Radis campaign, and uh, the whole menu OST, which I'm not gonna play here. We have this uh, this uh, boost schedule. So for the boost now, it's gonna be uh, a refresh every five hours as opposed to the standard eight hours. But um, wasn't it like four hours before? Or am I crazy? Either way, yeah, it's five hours, which is reduced from the regular time for sure. And uh, we have some battlefield number 45 missions, a uh, new title screen, and that is pretty much it, guys. So that is the data download for today. Um, in total, we have three Extreme Z Awakenings. We also have the uh, All Star Extreme Z Battle event, which is dropping on the 15th. So. We don't have the assets for that in this data download. It should be for an upcoming data download, or they might already be in the database. I don't remember if we got those assets from an earlier data download or not, but either way, that is coming. If you guys are you know, worried about uh, Global getting shafted for that one and not getting it, that's not going to be the case. We are getting the All-Star Extreme Z Battle event, which is going to provide you with... Uh, I think it was 277 stones for that event, which is insane. It sounds crazy, but it's true. It's real. We are getting 277 stones for clearing the event, a bunch of potential orbs, a bunch of uh, Kai's and all that good stuff. It's arguably the best event that has ever come out in the history of this game. And uh, Global is getting that in about, uh, I guess, a week, a week from now. And that would pretty much conclude the uh, seventh anniversary celebration. I think overall it was very, very good. I might do like a wrap up video a little bit later just to, you know, give my overall thoughts and, uh, you know, break down the anniversary as a whole. But yeah, for now, I'll just say, man, I enjoyed the anniversary. I think it had a lot of content. Obviously there were some dry periods in between, but that occurs with like every campaign and every anniversary. But, uh, for the most part, as far as anniversaries go, it was pretty solid, especially compared to some of the other gacha games out there. I think they did a great job, so uh, props and kudos to Bandai for that. And uh, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I mean, I didn't see it coming. I really did. I thought it was going to be, you know, Gogeta and Broly or something else, but full power Super Saiyan 4 didn't really come to mind at all for some reason, which is a little bit weird because I guess he still fits the theme, right? We had the LR Super Saiyan 4s, so if it wasn't Broly and Gogeta from the DBS Super Broly movie to like, you know, match the LR gods, then it probably was going to be this guy. I just didn't think of it. But either way, I think he's quite solid. I think it's a good Extreme Z Awakening and uh, I look forward to proving that once I get this guy Extreme Z Awakened in the, uh, you know, showcase video after. So. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys. That is the data download. Thank you so much for watching and uh, Look forward to all the content coming from the Raditz summons the Raditz showcase the, uh, Extreme Z awakening, you know streams and all that good stuff and uh, Of course another big shout out to my boy Proton at 10mg on Twitter for posting the assets um, As always if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out